What would I do for another season of Pinky and the Brain? Don't ask. Hey guys, it's Stevie. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon shows that deserve a second chance. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. We're looking at cartoons that need a chance to end properly, since they were either cancelled prematurely or ended on a cliffhanger that will likely never be resolved. However, if they had revivals or TV film follow-ups, they will not be considered here. Spoilers ahead! Number 10. Tron Uprising Set between 1982's Tron and 2010's Tron Legacy, this sci-fi interquill only lasted for one season on Disney XD. Congratulations, programs. You have been selected for the games. In this series, we're once again brought into the grid, where an updated version of Clue, General Tesler, and their henchmen rule with military might. Under Tron's guidance, a young program named Beck, and voiced by Elijah Wood, becomes a skilled protector and revolution leader. I give the word. Pull as hard as you can. Now! Despite the CG series winning a primetime Emmy for art direction and earning mostly positive reviews, only 19 episodes were ever produced and aired. Tron Uprising was given another chance when the season became streamable on Netflix, but this run lasted only a year, and we've yet to hear anything since. The winner of the next round will be released! Who are we fighting? Why, each other, of course. Number 9. Mission Hill this treasure from the early 2000s came courtesy of Bill Oakley and Josh Weinstein, who served as head writers and showrunners on some of the best seasons of The Simpsons. Ow! What happened to the couch? We moved it over there last week, remember? The pair left the show to focus on a project of their own, one that focuses on 20-somethings unsure of their place in the world, something The Simpsons never included. The result was this underground hit about a group of friends trying to make their way in the world. Unfortunately for fans, the show was put on hold after only two episodes aired on the WB network, and then was officially cancelled after another four were aired the next summer. Oh god, not another animated series. The episodes were later aired on other networks in full and collected on DVD, helping it develop a cult following. Number 8. Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars in the early 90s, animated shows featuring anthropomorphic animals were all the rage, and this well-remembered series combined the craze for animal people and mutants with Star Wars-style space adventure. Jedi, I can't shake them! Prepare for a backward loop! Based off a comic of the same name, the show sees a ragtag group of space outlaws, including Captain Bucky O'Hare, First Mate Jenny, the four-armed gunslinger Deadeye Duck, and a human boy named Willy, battling the evil Toad Empire. Send in all ships from sectors 5 and 6! Destroy him! The series only lasted for 13 episodes, and we'd love to see more, if for no other reason than to hear more of that classic theme song. Bring on the gritty revival! Number 7. Pinky and the Brain The Pinky, the Pinky and the Brain, 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 Brain The eminently singable theme song to this 90s classic pretty much says it all, but for the uninitiated, this series chronicles the nightly efforts of two lab mice, one hyper-intelligent and the other, less so, take over the world. Shut down the engines, Pinky. Someone's dropping death charges! As you can imagine, things rarely went to plan. Spinning out the Animaniacs series, the show was hugely popular in its day, and remains a fan favorite years later. Though the follow-up, Pinky, Elmira, and the Brain, is somewhat less well-remembered. White core matter, four brain skull. Brain stem, brain stem. Central Fisher, Quartz Bino, Parieto. With news of an Animaniacs revival currently in the works, it's hard not to hope that the diminutive duo will return as well. But please, no Elmira. Number 6. The Oblongs from the kid-friendly to the decidedly adult-oriented, this slightly demented series centers on a family suffering from various maladies and deformities due to the unsanitary living conditions of their suburban town, which rests in the shadow of a much more opulent and well-to-do neighborhood. And did we mention this is a comedy? Oh God! Tree, tree! Oh. Oh. Your mother does beautiful work! The show's incredibly dark sense of humor kept it from finding an audience, and the WB axed the series before it could even finish its first season. But maybe now's a better time for a series that focuses so heavily on class disparity and the ever-widening gap between the haves and the have-nots. Hey! You're in my flexing radius! Now you're in my cardio zone! Ooh. Hey, this is fun! Number 5. The Critic 
trust us. Being a film critic isn't all sunshine and roses, and no series has ever captured this better than this show from Simpsons writers Al Jean and Mike Reese. And cut. Ah, this new stuff feels great. Following the life and misadventures of movie critic Jay Sherman, voiced by John Lovitz, the show puts a more human face on the popular depiction of movie critics as joyless, arrogant windbags. She liked me much better. I'm very happy for you. Take your genitalia right back to Australia. Despite a wit that recalls some of the best episodes of The Simpsons, the show was canceled after two seasons. Look, son, I like you, but I'm afraid I've started interviewing replacements. There's plenty of territory that a revival of this series could explore, especially given today's new critical landscape of blogs and YouTube channels. Number 4. Clone High The names Phil Lord and Christopher Miller might sound familiar, as they're the duo behind such modern comedy classics as The Lego Movie and 21 Jump Street. But back in the early 2000s, they were hard at work on this series set in a high school populated with teenage clones of historical figures. Yeah, sight for the rager, JFK, dog. I will see you there! Even back then, Lord and Miller's comedic wit was a breath of fresh air, but Indian audiences took issue with the often less than flattering depiction of the teenage clone of Mahatma Gandhi, and the show never got a second season. Everybody! Free! The series ended on a shocking cliffhanger that still hasn't been resolved, and we're still torn up about it. Number 3. Duckman, Private Dick, Family Man this crass, adult-oriented series about a lewd, ill-tempered, and idiotic private detective who also happens to be a talking duck ran for a number of seasons, each one rife with lowbrow humor and a surprising amount of heart. Mr. Duckman, if you could find our arms and legs, this radiator's getting a tad warm! But when the fourth season ended on a shocking cliffhanger involving the sudden return of a character who'd been dead for the entire series, fans could only wait to see what would happen next. And wait they have ever since. But one thing bothers me. He's the third suspicious character we've talked to. The third one's always guilty. What the f- Would a TV special finally giving us the closure we've been craving for over two decades be too much to ask? Well, who cares if it is? We're asking anyway. Number 2. Symbionic Titan When three aliens flee to Earth after their home planet is conquered by the evil General Modula, the trio find themselves with an even greater challenge to face than Modula's giant space mutants, High School. They're not home! <laughs> They didn't say anything, just poof, gone! Combining high school drama with giant robot action, all brought to life by series co-creator Gendy Tartakovsky's signature animation style, this series was a gift to giant robot fans everywhere that sadly met with cancellation after only one season. Fire everything! Fire everything! Given that Tartakovsky's fan favorite series, Samurai Jack, was given the chance to fully wrap up with a revival years later, we're hoping this unsung classic will be given closure as well. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. All wings form on me and defend the base. If the Glorfs capture Megas, any hope Earth has of freedom is lost. Now, Valorian, meet your destiny. Speak for yourself, Kroos! Used of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. You haven't been keeping up on current events. You guys put this thing here and press the button. You want to help? Stop fighting us! I won't listen to your lies. I'll destroy you both! Behold, I have a gun that shoots a snake. Okay, and you're just in time to feel my Texas Twister! Number one, Gargoyles. Not many kids shows can claim to have drawn characters inspired by Shakespeare, but this classic fantasy adventure is one of them. You are trespassing. Following a group of living gargoyles transported to modern-day New York, this series drew in devoted fans for its dark tone and rich, well-developed plot lines and characters, including numerous figures drawn from mythology and literature. Can you forgive the humans for what they did to our kind? The ones responsible for that have been dead for a thousand years. Then their descendants shall pay! The fact that most of the cast of Star Trek The Next Generation were series regulars didn't hurt either. We won, dude! 
do. You haven't won anything, fools! Despite cancellation in 1997, the show later continued in comic book form, and an animated adaptation of this continuation, or a new project entirely, would be an absolute delight for fans of this animated treasure. Come on then. We're none of us getting any younger. With Jordan Peele having expressed an interest in directing a reboot in July 2018, who knows what could happen? Jordan Peele best hurry up and reboot Gargoyles soon. What did you guys think of our list? Are there any cartoons that we missed? Let us know in the comments below and check out these other awesome videos.